Reverse osmosis is a process in which dissolved inorganic solids such as salts are removed from water. This is done by typical household water pressure pushing the tap water through a semi-permeable membrane. RO systems can remove pollutants including nitrates, pesticides, sulfates, fluoride, some bacteria and much more. An RO system's carbon filter, which is the first pre-filter, can remove chlorine which degrades the membrane, the middle filter. As RO systems will sometimes reduce the pH level of the water, hence plastic tubing is preferred downstream of the RO system. Here you see the first filter on the left is the pre-filter or carbon filter and the middle filter is the membrane. Reverse osmosis is not used to treat bacteriological unsafe water. Heavy doses of chlorine would help or a UV system is designed more for that type of treatment. Now let's follow the inch and quarter green tubing which is saddled to the cold kitchen line and fed to the RO system. This is the water supply. It ties into the automatic shutoff. It it's fed through the first pre-filter, usually a carbon filter, and then into the ASO valve, the automatic shutoff valve. If this valve is faulty, your RO system will run all the time. After the ASO valve, it runs through the drain flow control, which is the red tubing. That red tubing is the waste water, which is drained up to the air gap faucet, or RO faucet, as you can see, it's the drain from the automatic shutoff. It'll go to the RO faucet located on the sink. As you can see, all RO taps must have a built-in air gap, which in turn is drained back down towards the black tubing or into the continuous waste under the sink. Here is a good diagram of the air gap built into the faucet. And there you can see the wastewater drains down into the continuous waste of the kitchen sink. Now the water goes through the RO membrane and tees off to the 3 8 yellow tubing to the bladder pressure tank. So let's follow that yellow tubing as it goes into our pressure tank which is typically at 35 to 40 psi. If the bladder in this tank is split the RO system will continuously run also. In this case it's usually easier to change the tank. There you see the Schrader valve. Tank. Let's turn around and follow the final blue piping, which is our final product of our water. Finally, the finished product water is fed through the post filter and then onto the RO faucet through the blue tubing. As you can see, it feeds up through the blue tubing and into the RO faucet located on top of the sink. This will hopefully provide tasty water with very little or no pollutants in it. Thanks for watching the reverse osmosis video and for further information check out your modules.